your item price and specifics. Okay, so the cost price. The cost price is what you pay for with your supplier. So we know this supplier, the price cost £22.99. So Blacklist went ahead and found the price here, £23.99. Okay, so the price went up since we listed it, when we listed it. Okay, so let's re refresh here. £23.99. And the cost price in Blacklist here that it scrapes was £23.99. The shipping cost is what you pay for shipping. So if you wanted to add £5 for shipping cost, you can simply do that. Or put zero if there is no extra shipping cost for you. Your profit percentage is what you chose to, to make a profit on. So it's the cost price plus the eBay, PayPal fees, plus your profit, that will give you a listing price of 47.83. So the listing price is the price that you are going to have on your eBay listing, which your customers will be paying. Okay, now I know that we decided on the profit and the shipping price and so forth in app settings as well, but for each individual listings, you're able to change all of that information here. The quantity is also in the app settings, but for each specific listing, you are able to change the quantity to whatever amount you want. So if you wanted to only list one wine rack because your supplier only has five available, for example, I don't recommend listing something that's only got five available unless you have a repricer. But if you only wanted to list one, you can simply change the quantity one for this particular listing. If you change any of this information here, that does not change your app settings but if you change your app settings it changes all the information here okay so your seller profiles you want to use the information that you've already got saved in your eBay listing you simply choose yes or no and that is up to you you can change the item location for this particular item for example if you were selling this um, item location from Bath you can simply take it and change the item location where the item is your handling time is how long it's going to take you to actually ship the item off to your customer so if your supplier has a two-day handling time you change it to a two-day handling time the postcode is where the item is based so if your item is in Bath you change the postcode to Bath this particular item if you wanted to set it as a global shipping item, you can choose that. Because not all items are available for global shipping, you can change it on each individual listing that you do. So let's say no for this one. Your payment seller profile. So this is what you choose how to get paid. So we wanted to get paid immediately. This is from your seller profile. So yes, we want to choose from our seller profiles or no, we want to do it manually yes so we just choose the seller profiles and that would be listed as what it is on your ebay but if you want to do it manually you choose immediately your returns are whatever you choose for it to be your shipment profile is whatever you choose for it not to be okay now your upc and ean number Remember we did an upload of UPC codes. Before you list an item, you want to make sure that you manage your UPC and EAN numbers first. You want to add in your UPC and EAN numbers. To add a UPC or EAN number from that list, you simply just choose a random number. For example, oops, for example, you choose one and then you choose a UPC or EAN number from the list that you have already uploaded into Blacklisted account. So you choose one, the brand will be the first three letters of your title. So metal wine rack is the first three keywords from your title. That is what your brand is going to be for your specific item. The MPN is the first three letters of your title with dashes in between. And then the last four let numbers of your UPC code. So the brand is the first three letters of your title, the MPN is the first three letters of your title, including the last four digits of your UPC code with dashes in between. This helps for search engine optimization. It is all filled in automatically as soon as you choose a UPC code that you already uploaded into your managed UPC blacklist of account. You can get category specifics as well. So if you wanted to add any additional information to your listing, you simply click on 
get category specifics. Then here you can type in whatever the, the information is. So the brand, copy the brand here. The material is metal. The main color is black. The MPN, you just copy the MPN from there. The quantity is one, and you can choose whatever it is that you want to do. Nope, I've got too many <laughs> categories here. It's the more every time you choose category, you add more information here. This is up to you to add into your eBay listing. I would highly recommend it because it gives more information to your customer. Remember, your customers are buying pictures. They're looking at pictures. So by the time the product gets to them, they look at the picture and think, oh, is it exactly what it is that you bought, the information that you listed? If it's not as described, they might just send it back. Then you have to deal with the return. So what I'm saying is that the more information you provide to your customers, the more accurate your listing is going to be and the more chance it is that your customer is not going to return it because they chose exactly what they wanted. Okay, and that is all the information that you needed for your prices and item specifics.